Hey gang, it's Pastor Lou here. And today it looks like I'm at the, any guesses? That's right, I'm sure someone said it. A mall or a store. See all the clothes and other items for sale behind me? Now these days, we don't always shop in a mall, do we? We have other options like the internet. That's very nice, it's convenient, but sometimes you just want to see things for yourself, touch them, or maybe even smell them before you buy them. That's right, I said smell. We might like to smell a product like perfume or this bottle of cologne. Mmm, smells nice. Perfume or cologne has been used by people for thousands of years to, well, help people smell better. That's right, along with baths and washing your dirty clothes, we can use perfume or cologne to help us smell better. We don't want to smell badly, do we? P-U. No, we don't want to do that. And so when you are in the store, use your nose and you can probably sniff your way right to the perfume counter. Once there, you'll see hundreds of perfumes and colognes for sale. And if you look closely at the price, wow, it's more often than not very expensive. You see, taking the odor of flowers and other pretty smelling things and moving it into a liquid form isn't easy. It takes time. And because it's difficult, they charge a lot for their product. It's always been hard to make perfume. So it's always been very expensive. With that in mind, today's gospel story stinks out. Oh, excuse me. I mean, sticks out. You might remember that our Lord Jesus was heading to Jerusalem to die. That's right, to die. He knew that if he sacrificed, sacrificed himself on the cross, he would rise again from the dead on Easter. And by doing this, we all could be welcomed into God's family in a new and exciting way. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus stopped to rest with his friends, Lazarus, Martha, and Mary. They were brothers and sisters. And these three people were among those who loved Jesus most. And he loved them. Yet along with his disciples, they knew a hard time was ahead of them. They had heard Jesus talk about his death. People around town had likely been talking about Jesus' dangerous trip to Jerusalem because some people, some people didn't like Jesus. And so it was a very dangerous and sad time for them. They didn't understand that Jesus would rise from the dead. They only understood that Jesus would suffer and likely die. And that made them rightly very, very, very sad. Because Mary loved Jesus so much, because she was thankful for Jesus, raising her own brother Lazarus from the dead a few days before, Mary wanted to show her thanks. Mary, crying, took a pound, a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, kind of a soft oilish kind of stuff, and used it to anoint Jesus' feet and wipe them, wipe their, his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. She wanted to show her love for Jesus. Meanwhile, Judas was nearby. He couldn't understand what she was doing. He thought it was a big waste of money. But Jesus stopped Judas from giving Mary a hard time saying, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You'll always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. You see, in the old days, families used to help prepare the dead for burial. And they sometimes used, you guessed it, perfume. In this story, we see that Jesus' friends were sad and afraid. Life can be scary at times. We see that Jesus was tired and that he needed love too. Yet we can also see in Mary, good old Mary, how we should try to be. For Mary, the cost of her sacrifice, it didn't matter. What mattered was loving Jesus. And so how do we love Jesus? Well, we don't have to go to the mall, that's for sure. We don't have to buy a gift. Jesus says that to love him, we should love one another. That's right, love one another. And although that might take some money sometimes to buy food or a gift to make someone feel a little happier or better, it need not take money at all. Listening to people, 
caring for people, seeing Jesus and other people and being kind to them, feeding the poor, caring for the sick, forgiving those that treat us badly, that's worth more than anything. So as you go through your week, remember our friend Mary. She knew love was worth more than money. And in trying to love Jesus with her life, she would experience more love than she ever could give. One might say, our lives will no longer be as stinky, for the world will be a happier and better place when we love one another. Jesus will be made known by our love. Let's pray. Gracious God, you love us more than anything, even more than we love ourselves. Help us to love you back. In big and small ways, may we serve Jesus and make the world a better and happier place by loving one another and rejoicing in the good news. You deserve all that we have and all that we are. You are the source of all good things. Help us to dedicate them to your use and for your glory. Help us to love as Jesus loves us. Amen. Well, that's it for now. I guess I should get ready for worship. Hey, I'll put a little of this on before I go. Ooh, I smell nice. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye for now. And I hope to see you again soon.